This is a demo of a network visualization tool developed and used at Utah State University. We use this tool to understand data con connections. We call this tool the Organic Visualizer. It provides real-time monitoring of data connections. It is currently monitoring connections to the main USU web server. The traffic is being monitored at the border of USU's network. The orga organic visualizer attempts to translate data connections into visual terms that are meaningful to humans. It works well when the scale of the communication is within human terms. The communications of the USU web server is a good subject for this visualization. This visualization metaphor fails when the scale of the communication is beyond the visual processing power of humans. It does not work at all for displaying the 100,000 simultaneous connections of the entire USU network. Even the 1,000 simultaneous connections of a Skype supernode are beyond this visualizer's capacity. But contained within the potential of this metaphor is a lot of utility. The visualization metaphor consists of several parts. Hosts are presented as text host names or IP addresses. They are the sources and sinks of data. The placement and movement of the hosts have no meaning. They dynamically reposition themselves as needed to accommodate the visualization. The physics of the visualizer tend to drive hubs of communication to the middle of the screen. The brightness of the hosts is related to their activity. Active hosts brighten, idle hosts fade and disappear. The color of the hosts is up to you. You can specify colors for various CIDR blocks in the configuration file. Data is represented by the variable sized blobs. No attempt is made to represent individual packets. Instead, the content of packets is aggregated. If data is present, a blob is released every update interval. The size of the blob is a function of the amount of data that is accumulated during the current update interval. The movement of the data blobs is a complete and utter lie. Think of it as an illuminating fiction. It helps you to understand the communication. The movement helps you visualize how the communication changes over time. In actuality, packets are delivered so quickly that the communication appears instantaneous to humans. Blobs are colored according to their protocol. TCP data is a green blob. UDP data is red. Other protocols, including ICMP and IPsec, are blue blobs. All the data moved in the visualizer is summarized and presented as a scrolling blue graph at the bottom of the screen. You can inter interact with the visualizer in several ways. You can grab a host with a mouse and move it around. Unfortunately, this currently has no effect on the underlying reality. You can turn on and off the DNS resolution. You can pin a host. Once pinned, it stops moving around and it stops fading. The organic visualizer is a client-server architecture. You put servers at interesting places in your infrastructure. In this demo, we use a server that is located on a monitor or span port 
at the border of USU's network. The client can run anywhere. It uses the SDL abstraction layer for speed and portability. You can resize the window as needed. The communication between the client and the server is fairly minor. In this demo, each occurrence of the client is receiving about 32 UDP packets per second from the server. When you start up the client, you are presented with a blank screen. Click in the blue, blo blue box and you are offered the choice of watching live data or replaying a PCAP file. Let's try live data. First, I tell it which server to use. Then I give it a TCP dump filter. The client connects to the server and requests summary data that matches the filter. The client has modest CPU demands. The demand varies with the complexity of the network activity being visualized. This demo is running on a two-year-old Dell Optiplex 755. It has a stock NVIDIA GPU and a 2.6 GHz Core Duo CPU. It is running Ubuntu Linux. Each instance of the visualizer is consuming 30 to 40 percent of the CPU as a, of, a, of the CPU of a single core. The organic visualizer is a tool for answering questions about network traffic, but it is only as useful as your ability to ask those questions. Some questions that USUIT security asks are, who is currently using USU's central VPN server? The red blobs are UDP 500 and UDP 4500 traffic. The blue blobs are IPsec traffic. And the green blobs are SSL based VPN connections. It looks like the VPN server is being used by people all over the world. Most are local. When we notice a connection from an interesting place, we follow up and see if the activity is legitimate. Another question we ask is which systems are using SSH or Microsoft Remote Desktop Protocol past the USU border? Again, we see connections from all over. When somebody port scans USU for SSH or, or RDP, it makes a pretty Eye of Sauron pattern on the visualizer. Finally, let's ask who besides USU's central email infrastructure is delivering email past the USU border. Well, it looks like there are a few people volunteering email uh, services.
We can usually distinguish between legitimate traffic and spam by looking at the pattern of distribution. Each spammer group has a visually distinct pattern of email hosts and relays. This visualization tool cannot take the place of central logging and analysis, but you can't properly manage or secure something unless you understand it. The USU Organic Visualizer can help you understand network communication.